So <clears throat> what uh, Rinpoche can talk to us about, about is the nature of the of the Dharma, of the Buddha Dharma, and this is something which can benefit us both not just in this life but in the ne next life in terms of our like, ultimate achievement. <laughs> Because <laughs> the in um, this for the the activities that one does to benefit oneself in in this lifetime, that um, this can bring one a long life, um, wealth, uh, health, and so on. Make one it, so that one can have a um, uh, divine existence. But still, it's not going to be of any uh, help for us for uh, after this life. And so, for uh, to find happiness uh, after this lifetime, uh, the only thing that will benefit for us for that is the practice of the of the Dharma. <coughs> and so this will uh, be able to benefit ourselves for our future lives because we have to go through a number of lifetimes is because there's no one who is able to just stay, carry on uh, living without uh, dying. We all have to die. <coughs> So if when we died that we just cease to exist, our mind cease to exist just like when a fire has gone out or some waters just are dried up and there's nothing left, then there, there will be no need to practice the Dharma. But we, we don't become non-existent at that time, that the mind uh, continues. And until we have uh, achieved Buddhahood, we have to pass through uh, lifetime after lifetime in samsara. <laughs> So one needs to, <coughs> in our next lifetime, to, to be able to achieve an existence, either like a human existence or divine existence, which is even better than what we have now. So this is what we must uh, achieve. <coughs> 